All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Power Armor Airdrop, which is being made by user Marmo1233 and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to set one of your suits of Power Armor to be able to be airdropped to your location at any time anywhere you desire, of course provided you're actually in the Commonwealth outside. If you are, say for instance, in one of the office buildings downtown or one of the underground metro stations, this mod is not going to function because, of course, it's an airdrop, you kind of need sky for that. And that's really the major limitation for this mod, but it's something you can fairly easily live with. And I am really, really loving this thing so far, as I cannot tell you how many times I have been without my power armor, get into a firefight and realize, man, I could really use one of those suits right now, and with this mod, I can now call one in to save my bacon, and I love having that ability. So let's just head down into this building here where I have my power armor suit stored and show you how this mod functions, and thankfully, it's pretty easy to use. Now we'll use the X-01 for demonstration purposes today, and once you have the mod installed, to be able to recall this, or rather airdrop it to your location, all you need to do is open up your Pip-Boy, and in the miscellaneous tab of your inventory, you're going to have a new holo tape called Rocket Pack. And that's all you need. You just click this, and you're going to be brought to two different options. Not really complex here for this mod, and that's perfect. It needs to be simple, because frankly, it's a simple task. And the first option we have is to set power armor. And what this is going to do is once we click it, it is going to set whichever suit of power armor is closest to you, and that suit of power armor is now what I'll be able to recall later. Now remember that it needs to be the closest to you. You don't need to be looking at it. You don't even need to be really paying attention to it. It just needs to be the closest. So if you do have, say, racks of power armor, maybe don't stand in between the two because you might get the one you're not wanting to have. Uh, but yes, it's just simply whichever is closest. Now if we open up that uh, holotape real quick, just to talk about the second option, that is of course recall power armor this is what you hit to actually airdrop the power armor to you later now I should note that when you set the power armor you can only set one suit so you're only ever going to have one suit of armor for airdropping well at least for now, I should probably note that this mod actually is still a work in progress, so that could change in the future who knows, but for right now one suit of power armor you can then airdrop through this button. And if we clicked it right now, it's not going to work, and we're going to get reasons why. So let's just click that real quick, and there we are. We get this lovely UI telling us why it couldn't call the power armor. Now the reason we couldn't is simply because of this first option right here. We're nearby it. It's kind of pointless to airdrop in power armor if you're already standing right next to it. And so if you're nearby, it's not going to work. The next one here is if you're inside of a building or, of course, you've left your power armor inside of a building. Now, that's worth noting again that that means that you've actually gone through a loading sequence and into a dungeon slash building somewhere in the world. It doesn't mean a building like I'm standing in right now because there's still sky above my head here in this settlement. So that's what it means by building. You actually have to have gone into a loading screen to then come into a building somewhere. That is what it means there. Now the next option is that we failed to actually set a suit of power armor because, well, yeah, that's kind of important to airdrop one in, you kind of need to set one. And the final one I think is my favorite, is that you're inside of it. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just amuses me so much that technically you could be trying to call in uh, the suit of power armor you're already wearing. Now granted, I guess you could make that mistake if you've 
gone inside and are currently using another set of power armor, and you have a different set of power armor set to actually airdrop in, so theoretically I could probably see how you could make that mistake, but still, I find that funny that, um, yeah, it's not gonna airdrop in because you're in it. So let's hit OK, and what we're gonna do is head just outside here and go this direction. Uh, because, well, the first limitation and why we weren't able to airdrop it in there was because we were nearby. And after a bit of testing, I discovered that the uh, nearby criteria is a hundred units of measure. I'm still not entirely sure what this game uses, if it's feet or meters, but 100 of whatever it is, which should be roughly past this rock, if I'm remembering correctly from my testing earlier. So now, if we go in and recall our power armor, there we go, it worked, and we just need to look up at the sky to see where it falls from, because it will fall, and it'll fall quick. Oh, there it is, and boom, excellent. Oh, I love that. So it lands on the ground with the lovely little hero three-point landing. It briefly opens up because, well, it's welcoming you in, I guess, and then we'll close again. Now, sometimes if the uh, terrain under its feet is really unlevel, it may take a few steps forward and you won't be able to get into the power armor until that finishes. But uh, yeah, overall, it's here now, so we can jump in and go around terrorizing our enemies in a suit of power armor, and that's just fun. Oh, I really do love this, and we can call it in as often as we want, again, no matter where we are. So even though we just used it, if we run back to the place where I store my power armor, we would be able to call it again. And this potentially may show off another limitation. It seems to be kind of finicky on what it'll do here, uh, but technically it should land on top of this building if we call it from inside here, which is an oddity, but that just means you'll have to find a way to actually get to it. But let's go in, do this, recall, and uh, yeah, it's gonna start coming down. Now I'll wait for it to actually land. So we should hear a thud here momentarily-ish. There it is, lovely. Now where did it land? It did land on top of the roof. So that again goes to show you what I meant by the buildings earlier. Not a building like this, you need to go through a loading screen for it to count as a building. But this could of course be a potential issue for you if you are trying to get to your power armor. Because now it's on a building that I kind of can't get to. So this is something you need to watch for when you are using this mod, because yeah, you want it to land somewhere in open space so you can actually jump up to the darn thing. Now there are plans for potential fixes for this in the future. As I said, again, this is a work in progress mod and the mod maker realizes that this could be an issue. Say for instance, you call your armor over or rather when you're under one of those giant overpasses, well, your power armor may land up there and that's gonna be very inconvenient for you. And so one of the possible fixes the mod maker is looking into for that is a teleport function for if your power armor is unreachable, which would be quite interesting. Another possible implementation for the future, not related to this, but just the mod in general, is that instead of just setting the power armor, that you may actually have to build a specific rocket pack to enable the power armor airdrop. And I actually really quite like that idea that say, for instance, the jetpack on the back of that guy would be replaced with a new special jetpack specifically for doing the airdrop. Uh, I think that would be quite a cool idea and make it a bit more, uh, I don't know if I'd say lore friendly, but uh, gameplay friendly at least to give it a reason for why right. it's doing that. Uh, but yes, that is uh, the power armor airdrop mod. Make sure whenever you call it that it's in an open area or else you could end up like this. <laughs> And that's, uh, yeah, it's a great mod, though, as long as you don't have this happen to you. But again, as long as, uh, you know, you're outside, we could just call the power armor again at a different location and we'd be fine. It's just that if you are calling it in the middle of a battle, 
eh, you may not have that ability and you may end up dead. So just keep in mind where you are calling it in and you shouldn't really have any issues. And overall, it's just a fun and useful mod, which I would definitely say to go and check out for yourself. And if you'd like to do that, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next episode when we will be looking at what hopefully is yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!